What are we talking about today? Kava. What? I I missed that. What? Say it again. Kava. I. Nope. Missed it again. Not not quite sure where you're going with this. You know, Kama. 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 No, not. You know, when bad shit happens to you and it's just thrust upon you in your life. Kama. Oh. Karma. Karma is what we're talking about today. So what is karma? Karma is you creating your reality in order to for you to choose a new decision, for you to choose something else. So as an example, if something repeated, repeatedly keeps happening to you, you're or you're doing something repeatedly that is way out of alignment with who you really are, then you put a judgment on that, maybe knowingly, maybe unknowingly, right? That's in your subconscious. You put a judgment on something that that ain't right. That's not the right thing to do. You're out of alignment. And so this manifests as what you would call karma, as something that is happening to you, something that's uh, being manifested in your life when you really don't want it to be manifested in your life, right? But you are the only one that can create in your reality. No one else can create in your reality. Only your choices and your decisions can allow something else to create in your reality. So if something uh, unpleasant keeps coming up, coming up in your reality, it's because you're being given the choice to keep continuing, keep continue to create that, or make a new choice and choose something that is within alignment with you. And when you only choose what is in alignment with you, then you stop creating these out of alignment situations for yourself. So for an, for an example, uh, someone I know decided that, you know, they brought their car to the, to the shop and they got a loaner car. It was only supposed to take uh, maybe an hour or two for, for the dealership to fix their car. And they took it upon themselves to cross state lines to go away for the weekend on a loaner car that they signed like no paperwork for or um, you know it was only supposed to be like a couple hours and you know the dealership is calling them saying hey you can pick up your car now and return that that vehicle and they're like no that's uh that's not gonna happen because it's out of my way so notice all the bad decisions that are taking place in in this situation in this scenario where that is probably way out of alignment with who they really are but they kept choosing to do uh, other than what they were in alignment with so you fast forward and this person you know gets into uh, a bit of a car jam somebody hit their tire and you know totally threw off the entire uh, swing arm of the car and it wasn't operating properly and now what you have is karma is that self-created uh, karma and how did this happen well decisions were made where you the person clearly could have chose uh, what was in alignment with with what they who they truly were are and you know avoided that whole mess but the but you know it just kept rolling bad decision after bad decision after bad decision uh, out of alignment out of alignment out of alignment and 
that manifested into now a problem that is going to be quite expensive to fix and might, you know, involve legal ramifications. That's that remains to be seen, and it really uh, is irrelevant to the story. However, what it is is that that was created. And why was that created? Because that judgment of I'm doing something wrong manifested as here you go, here here you go. This is you did something wrong. Here it is. You know, you think you're going to get get away scot-free for uh, for the choices that you're being given to make, the choices that you're being asked to make to align yourself to who you really are and align yourself to the divine. And one after another, bad choice, bad choice, bad choice. And so here's your prize. Here's your prize. The broken vehicle and all of, all of the... Uh, you know, garbage that goes along with that. So notice how, you know, that was a situation that could have been completely avoided had that person being, uh, had had that person been operating within alignment of, of themselves. So the next time that you're faced with something like that, next time you feel like you're about to make a decision that's out of alignment with yourself, catch that. And then make the decision that puts you in alignment with yourself. And how do you know that that's in alignment or out of alignment? It's by how you feel. It's by the choice that you're making and how you feel about that choice that you're making. You clearly are uh, very capable of acknowledging that the choice I'm making right now feels really good to me. Feels really good to do this uh, in my heart. I'm in alignment with my choice. How do you know something isn't that way? Well, the choice you're making doesn't feel so good. And you know you're probably doing something wrong. Or you know that there's there's maybe a smidgen of a chance that, like, this probably isn't the right choice. You're out of alignment. You're making a choice out of alignment. And that, that will continue to manifest in a in any number of ways until you make a new choice you will be you will continue to experience that in your reality until you finally sit down and say okay i've had enough of this i've learned my lesson now i'm going to make a new choice right so check the description box down below uh, for all the links to how to get in touch with me and uh, all the info on my coaching services. And also, like my video now. That's for, that's for you, Fiona. And, uh, you know, leave a comment down below. Uh, support and help each other out down in the comment box. And I will see you all next time.